All right, we want to talk today a little bit about dribbling. Um, we did an old blog post that kind of goes with this video um, called Dribbling a Ball, so it should be pretty easy to find. But this is for teaching kids how to kind of like walk and dribble at the same time or kids that are looking to like ball sports, like basketball, things like that. Um, a lot of times we had trouble with them, you know, as they're dribbling, they kind of wanted to keep going down to meet the ball as opposed to giving enough force to let it come back up. And so what we started with was a spot on the floor and taking the ball with two hands just to start and having it come up. Oh, something else that helped is we kind of had their back against the wall. Um, I don't have an easy wall, but so that way there was the cue to stay up tall so that it had to come back up to them. Um, we then kind of, we could stay against the wall still and we would progress to trying to do this three times. So like one, two, three and trying to get away from the bounce and catch mode and more into the pushing down. Um, as they kind of get that down where it's a little bit more pushing, we would switch to one hand, still keeping the wall there. You want to make sure that, you know, they're kind of letting the ball come up to them. And as they start to get that, you know, we're going to go from three to we're going to slowly progress till we get to 10 dribbles. And then we worked with traveling and all of a sudden kind of we got a little bit of panic again from them. But what you do is you go back, you kind of go backwards again. You start with two hands walking and dribbling at the same time. Then, and you start with three and then you can kind of progress it to 10 and then you go to one hand and trying to walk and dribble at the same time. Um, kind of a step in between there that you could decide when to put in is having them do the stationary dribbling away from the wall. So it just, as they get, as they do it and then you can kind of back off the skill like if they kind of like start to get flustered with something you just kind of take it back a step and let them practice that step and then slowly progress it again so hope that helps